This is how to use Solana in Trust Wallet. With Trust Wallet, we can hold Solana based tokens. We can swap them right in the app and then we can actually connect our wallet to most Solana dApps as well. So the first thing we need to do is add the Sol token to our wallet. In the top right hand corner, click this icon. It's like a plus button and then come and search for this token. So you can see Sol. So I'm going to toggle this one on and then go back to the main page and you should see the Sol token right here. From here, I want to click into this token because we need some Sol if we want to use the Solana network because every transaction we need some for gas. Not much, but we need at least some. So the first thing we can do is buy Sol directly within Trust Wallet if we want. So if you press buy, it takes you through to this page where you can buy an amount. Now, what this is, is you're using third party on ramps. So you'll use a credit or a debit card. You can either use Apple or Google Pay, I think as well. So if I click pay with credit card, you can see these providers right here. So credit card is the option. You can use Apple Pay, bank transfer, right? What you're actually doing is being taken over to these third parties, which is Ramp, MoonPay. You have to create an account with them and you have to give them some ID because you're going to have to KYC with those third parties. That means give them your ID and prove which country that you're in and have an account with them separately. So even though it seems really simple, if you click on MoonPay, something like that, and then buy with credit card, you'll see it takes you through to the MoonPay website, essentially. You have to create an account and pay with your card. This is fine, you can create an account with them, but if you're gonna do this, you might as well create an account with an actual cryptocurrency exchange because these guys are very, very expensive. You pay with a card and it's gonna be like two to 3% um, as an extra fee on top. So, you know, you might as well have an actual crypto exchange that's gonna give you much better trading fees and everything like that. So we'll look at that right now. What we'll do now is withdraw some sold tokens that I have in my crypto exchange into our trust wallet. So from here, what I want to do is press receive and that gives me my Solana address for my trust wallet. So you can see right here, it has a QR code and then the long address. So I'm just gonna press copy on this address. Now down here, if you have either a Coinbase or a Binance account, it says deposit from exchange. So you can do that very easily. If you have the app on your phone, either Binance or Coinbase, click one of those and it will take you through and say, how much Solana do you wanna withdraw? And it's gonna link up the addresses. So you can do that very easily. What I'm gonna do is just go over to my Binance and I've got some Sol that I've already bought. If you need to know how to use a crypto exchange, how to trade, how to get money in and out of them, I'll leave those video guides down in the description. I'll also leave links to Binance and some other exchanges I use. You can get deposit bonuses if you're new on those as well and um, some trades. So check the links for the details there. But I have Sol, so I'm gonna withdraw. I'm gonna withdraw via crypto network. And then it says, what is the address? Well, that's my trust wallet address. So I'm just gonna paste that in. And the network has been chosen as Solana. You can see that it's recognized the address is Solana. So I'm just gonna choose max and you can withdraw an amount. So I'm just gonna press withdraw here and then go through that withdrawal. That's gonna send out to my trust wallet. Now I've got that Solana token in my wallet. We can go ahead and use it. The first thing we can do is stake the Solana. So you can see this box here, it says start earning. So if I click that, it's gonna take me through to using uh, Trust Wallet to stake my soul on some validators. Now this is normal staking and not liquid staking. What that means is that we're locking up our Solana. So you can see the minimum amount is 0.01 soul. The current APR is about five and a half percent. So if you press stake here, what you can go and do is choose a validator. There's gonna be multiple of these uh, so you can choose the one that pays decent rewards. They're all gonna be fairly similar. Um, so you can see the trust nodes here is actually a little bit less at 4.87. That's obviously Trust Wallet running that. They probably take a little bit of a you know profit out of uh, the staking. I mean, you can choose any of these if you want, around 5%. So choose the one that you would want. Now staking rewards may change depending on the validator over time, but they're all gonna be within a range. So you can choose an amount to stake. Now it says that uh, one epoch takes around two to four days. With Solana, you have to lock up your tokens when you stake, which means that once they're staked, you can't do anything else with them. You can't use them in DeFi, you can't swap them easily. You actually have to unstake them. And that takes uh, a, a short while to do that. So if you wanna stake, you have to lock up the tokens. And then if you wanna do anything with them, like sell them or transfer them out, you have to unstake them and then wait for that actually to happen and then for the soul to come back into your wallet. So you press continue here, you can go ahead and stake and lock them up. 
However, there is liquid staking as well, which is where you just buy a liquid staking token. And that is getting the staking rewards, but it's a separate token that you can swap and trade and send around very easily. So that's what most people do these days. Let's go ahead and swap Solana for another token then, and we can swap it for anything else, including a stable coin or a meme coin or you know a staking token that actually gets staking rewards for us. So if we go down to swap, you should be able to choose the blockchain that you're using. Remember, we're on Solana. So you can see this Solana and GitoSol. Now, GitoSol is the staking coin, the liquid staking token, which means we can buy it. And it's the same as Solana, but with the staking rewards as well. So if you do want to stake, you can just hold this token in your wallet and you're getting the staking rewards. Um, so from here, you can see up here it says from and then I can choose the blockchain. So obviously I've got Solana on there because we're using that, but you can just switch any of the uh, chains right here. You can't swap cross chain for the most, most part, but if you're on Solana, you wouldn't want to do that anyway. So Solana, and then the token that I've got, you can choose that here. I've got some Sol as you can see. And then we're obviously swapping it to another token. So if I click on this token, then you can search for anything else. So if you want to have a uh, stable coin, you can see it's the USDC on Solana that you want. It's actually the second token. So you have the name of the coin and then you can see Solana is the blockchain. So you want that. If you want to trade, you know, a ridiculous coin, then you can see that here as well, right? So you can just search for the name of the coin or the ticker of the coin. So I'm going to search for GitoSol as what we can do is essentially stake our Solana without having to lock it up. So that's the top one right here. I can choose an amount to actually swap. So let's just choose 50% and it's going to come through with the swaps. So you can see the provider here is Rango. I'm sure this is um, the provider that Trust Wallet are using to actually get you a decent swap. So you can see the provider fee is around 12 cents. Uh, so if you click on this, it says that's a third party fee that you can actually use to swap within Trust Wallet. So this will load up uh, at the best trade at the given time. So if you want to actually swap that, you can press continue. And then it's going to go through with the details. This is how it's going to route your trade. So you're going to swap some salt into Gito Sol. Here are all the details. If you want to use that, you can press confirm and that will swap the Solana token into Gito Sol using Trust Wallet. That might not be the absolute best trade because Solana has many DEXs, including DEX aggregators, which may get you better trades. So what we can actually do is just connect our wallet with any other application on Solana if it gives us that opportunity. So I'll show you here, this is Jupyter, which is probably the most popular um, DEX aggregator. So it aggregates all of the exchanges and hopefully gets you the best trade on the network. So you can use this on your phone. If you want to do that, go to the browser uh, right here and then just search in the browser for the URL of Jupyter. Um, so I'll link them all below. But with Jupyter, I'll just show you on uh, the computer to make it easy. We want to connect wallet. And then if you go to more wallets, uh, what we want to do is wallet connect. Wallet connect is going to give us a QR code right here. Then what we can do is go back to our trust wallet. And from here, we want to scan that QR code. So top right, you can see the QR code um, icon right here. So if I press that, it's going to let me scan the QR code. From here, what I can do then is just scan it with my phone. So that's scanned. And from right here on Trust Wallet now, it says, hey, do you want to connect to this application with your wallet? So I do, so I'm just going to press connect. Uh, now on the application now, if we go back to that, it says the wallet is connected in the top right hand corner. I can see my wallet address and I can see it's connected via uh, the, tr the Trust Wallet through Wallet Connect. So what I can do now is actually read all of the assets I've got in my trust wallet on my phone. So I'm going to uh, use Sol here because it look it's it shows that I've got Sol in my wallet, right? So this is my wallet address, my trust wallet. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to swap it into any other token, anything we want, right? You can see the the popular ones here. So let's just do USDC. And what we're going to do is press half of that, and it's going to give me the exchange rate, right? So if I look down here, it says that it's taking my Sol and it goes through Orca, which is another exchange, and I can swap that right here. If I press swap, what it's going to do is actually go over to my Trust Wallet right now, and 
I need to approve it on my phone. So I can see the whole entire code right here. I can see the DAP is Jupyter. This is my main wallet. I have to approve this on my wallet, of course, because this is where my keys are. So I can press confirm right now if I want to trade that and that will actually confirm the transaction and then that will go ahead. So that's how you swap tokens uh, using your trust wallet. You can do it on your phone if you want, or you can just connect your phone because your phone is your wallet with any other dApp. How do we cash out of any tokens that we've got on the Solana network? Well, that depends which token that you have. So smaller tokens like meme coins or Gito Sol or something like that, they probably won't be supported for cash out directly. With Trust Wallet, they'll support major coins. So that's L1 coins or stable coins, right? So what you'll have to do is actually swap those tokens back into USDC or SOL. Once you've done that, you can then press the sell button here. And that takes you right through to the exact same thing as the buy. So MoonPay or anything if you have accounts there. But like I said, this is very, very expensive. So what I would actually do is actually send this back to my you know, real crypto exchange. So press send. It then, it then says, what address do you want to send it to? So go over to your exchange account, Binance, Bybit, you know, Coinbase, whatever it is. You want to receive SOL tokens or the USDC on the Solana network. Get that uh, address and then send the token out from your trust wallet into your exchange. I'll leave the exchange guides and other helpful Solana videos down in the description. Deposit bonuses via the links up there as well. I'm James, this is Manzi G. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.